there. I turned my phone off after the fight. I was upset. I came as soon as I heard. Yeah, you came and then you stayed for an hour and then you left again. Well, I didn't feel like staying much when I saw who else was there. I didn't ask Luke to come. Well, you didn't ask him to leave either. No, I didn't. He's my friend. He brought food. You weren't there. I was there. I saw your dad. I checked in. Checked in. I'm not the 640 to Buffalo. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sick of seeing that guy. Well, how do you think I feel? I mean, for two days, I'm in that hospital. 18 hours a day. I didn't even know if you were coming back. I needed time. I needed you. Laura? You know what the worst part of it was? When you weren't there, part of me wasn't surprised. He thinks I don't want to be in it. He thinks that I don't even want to be in this marriage. But you do, right? Of course I do. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's this Luke thing. Christopher's jealousy is blinding him, and I've been racking my brain to think of a way to convince him that I want to be in this marriage. And I think the only way is if I cut Luke out of my life entirely. No Luke at all? No. I mean, it wouldn't be that big a difference, you know? It's not like I see him a lot as it is. Well, that's true, although just because you don't see him a lot doesn't mean he's not a, a big part of your life. You know, you, eight months ago, you were engaged to the guy. I know. I try not to dwell on that because I've moved on. I I married Christopher. Uh, it's just that it's Luke, and you guys were together a long time. I know. It, it, you were friends for years. I mean, even before you were together, and then when you were together, you were really together. Yes, we were. So all I'm saying is that you broke up with Luke and immediately started dating Christopher, and I know you're over it, and I know you've moved on, but all those feelings for Luke didn't just disappear overnight, right? No, that's what I'm saying. Of course they didn't. It's just, you move really quickly. Yes, I moved quickly to a man I love, who loves me, who wanted to marry me. When Luke and I were together, he was kind and loyal and thoughtful. I, the guy built me an ice skating rink, for God's sake. God, I forgot about that. But he was also distant and uncommunicative, and he didn't want to marry me. And I tried everything I could to work it out. Of course, I have feelings for him. That's what Christopher is responding to. And, and that's why, in order to save my marriage, the only thing I can do is cut Luke out, right? Right. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just I have a but. Yes? <sighs> if there were no Luke, I mean, no Luke in the past, no Luke in the picture. Yeah? Well, would it be Christopher? I mean, would he be the one? Oh. After all the exotic dog food I lavished on him, <laughs> homemade biscuits, fresh ground lamb, it was this burger that he seemed to enjoy the most. Uh, and today, I will eat one in his memory. Well, what a sacrifice. Uh, go on in. You get your burger. I'll get started at the printers. Sounds good. <laughs> Wish me luck. Good luck.